Hey everyone, Jang here for Orange Mod Works to give you an update on what's been happening with the SR200 blaster. It has been longer than originally planned, and the blaster has gone through multiple revisions, but we'll get into that in a moment. Everyone's been dedicated to getting the blaster to a good place, better than just fixing the found issues, and want to restate how sorry Orange Mod Works is for the issues with the initial blasters that were sent out, and has been focused on getting this blaster right. Every bit of feedback from the community has been heard and taken into consideration for the revisions of this blaster, and it's now ending what will hopefully be the last round of testing before final release. And testing has included some community members as well to ensure as many fixes and improvements as possible can be made. The current round of test blasters have all been shipped, and if all goes well with this round, the blaster will be ready for release. A reminder as well, anyone that had received a first round blaster will be sent the updated blaster and won't need to be sending anything back to get that in their hands. Now, it's been a few months, but that time has been full of redeveloping the entire system, testing, changes, and improvements, so let's get into what's changed. First off, print quality has gone up. Between a combination of finding a new filament vendor with a more consistent and higher quality filament, and using the correct profile on the 3D printers, there's not only an improvement visually for things like layer lines, but more importantly, the blaster is much more sturdy, and breakages during priming should no longer be an issue. Also, every blaster is being tested after assembly before it gets shipped to you to ensure it's working properly. Let's talk a little bit about the breach now. The front of it had been reported as a weak point, so that has been strengthened. Also, in the name of durability, padding has been added to reduce impact force. A O-ring tightness has been adjusted as well, so it won't spread grease and reduce friction. The trigger pull has been smoothed out to make for a better feel when using the blaster. The plunger rod has an adjusted chamfer on the surface between the catch and the rod to reduce metal on plastic shaving material off. Also, the pump grip has been redesigned for better comfort in use. Those are the issues that have been addressed, but there's more that's been changed about this blaster beyond just those issues. The back cap has seen some changes so that you can now more easily swap a spring than you could before. After unscrewing the cap, you can use the supplied tool or needle nose pliers to remove the spring rest and replace the spring. The breech saw some redesigning as well to allow for mags to be pulled and reinserted while it's closed so you don't need to prime the blaster to swap mags anymore. The front barrel shroud has seen some updates to be more rigid. This will allow for the option of aluminum rod upgrades in the future to reduce the weight of the blaster. Instead of a single pump grip option, it's been changed to a Picatinny rail so you can easily adjust grip types to better suit your style. The upper receiver now allows easier access to the plunger system without having to completely take apart the blaster. Also, the priming bar has been changed to a double priming bar to allow for a better feel while priming the blaster. And last, but not least, the plunger tube has been increased in size, making better use of the available space inside the blaster, which will make future plant upgrade kits for higher FPS much more manageable. After testing is complete and everything is finalized, there'll be more videos in the future going over performance numbers and options. Now, like I mentioned earlier, it's been longer than anticipated, but that time has been full of updates and redesigns to improve the blaster and make it better than it could have been before. And while the goal may have initially been a short turnaround time, that shifted instead to ensuring a much improved blaster, not just in quality, but in performance and user experience as well. And as soon as testing is finished, there'll be another video to let all of you know that orders are shipping out. Thank you again for your patience during this, and the time between now and the next update should be much shorter. Everyone at Orange Mob Works is looking forward to getting these blasters into your hands so you can enjoy them on the field. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Thank you for watching, and we'll talk again soon.